the tools I use to trim this part here and also the foot is first I use my square loop tool to remove most of the uh, thicker clay and then for the detail for uh, 90 degrees corner here and remove a little bit of clay I was using my number two tungsten carbide tool and for the final shaping final finish then I was using the standard number five standard tool to do all the uh, final trimming here and also a little bit put in a little bit curve little curve on the foot here and the reason I why I'm using the uh, standard is that uh, this not only you can use it for trimming but also it's kind of like a burnish because uh, the standard tool it's usually finer surface versus the tungsten carbide so that's why I was using my uh, number five standard tool to trim the surface in the meantime when I'm trimming the surface become very smooth so that was what I was using the three different tools So usually for fitting the lid, lid perfectly, I usually make the lid slightly bigger than the uh, actual size so that I could either trim this part here on the lid or trim this part here so they will fit perfectly. So usually I always trim it almost fitting very tight, barely, okay, barely very tight. And then I'm using the um, the shiny rock to burnish that. So kind of a push the rim a little bit here. Um, it will fit my lid perfectly there. I could have my lid sitting right here and trim right on top of the body. All right, for this little part, I was using the tools. This first again use that uh, square tool to remove most of the clay, 
and then I use my number three tungsten carbide tool, especially to get into this curve here. This was designed specifically for taking, taking care of the nub so that uh, it's easier to go and cut it in there and the indentation. So for the nub, that it will be easier for you to lift it. And then use this to uh, burnish a little bit and of course use that to trim the side of it and then the final uh, for putting the texture i was using this tool my number three stainless tool okay stainless steel tool number three and use the tip to cut the texture here for decoration on the lid okay so now the body and the lid is fitting nicely together Right, so that is the uh, lid and the body fitting nicely and I trim the lid right on top of the body so that I can see the proportion of it. So now this will be the uh, fitting the part together, the handle and uh, the spout.